Hi, and thanks for choosing Render Forest. This video will be a tour around the platform to get a sense of where things are. By the end of this video, you should feel more comfortable with navigating the general account settings and account options. Use the timestamps to skip around and find the information that you need. As an all-in-one branding platform, Render Forest has many sections that can be useful to you if you know where to find them. First, you'll start by logging in with your email, Gmail, Apple ID, or Facebook account. Be sure to log in and not create a new account by mistake. On the top right side of the screen, when you hover on your name, you'll find the drop-down menu. My Projects Let's start with My Projects. The My Projects section has one file for each tool, which includes videos, websites, logos, mockups, designs, and domains. After clicking the project file, it will direct you to your completed or draft projects. For example, if you create a logo, it will stay in the logo folder. Once in the project folder, you can continue to edit, duplicate, download, or delete from this page. With videos, you can even change the privacy settings without going back to your account settings page. This affects the link sharing feature. Here, you may edit the name of a project, search for a project by name, and get the project ID number. This project ID number is helpful if you ever run into problems so we can help. My Favorites The My Favorites section leads you to a page where you can find all of the templates that you've added to your favorites list. Currently, you can add video templates to the My Favorites folder, but we plan to have this available in the future for all tools. My Files The My Files leads you to the Media Library, where you can find all the pieces of media that you've uploaded to the platform or created here. The files uploaded from your computer will stay in this area. You may also create additional folders to organize the My Files section to suit your needs. You may sort the uploaded media files based on the uploaded date or type of files, such as images or videos. In the My Files window, there is a shortcut to your exported projects. This is all saved on our secure cloud storage. As you upload your files, it will reduce your storage space, which we will talk about next. My Account The next page is My Account. You'll see your name, your email address, and your account ID which is a unique code for identification. You will see the storage section here and will find information on your uploaded media files and used space depending on your subscription plan. If you have the business plan, you will also see the sub-users or seats section. This is where you will be able to manage the sub-user settings. Sub-accounts or sub-users are people who can be added to your main account and share access to your projects. This works best in the case of Teams, where several people have to chip into a single project. You'll need to add the name and email address. It's important that you do not own a separate account in Render Forest with the same email address, as well as choose a policy, which is a fancy way of deciding what specific access your sub-users get. There are some basic account settings in this section, like changing your password or requesting account deletion. We tried to make these account settings as simple as possible. Like many things in your account, your storage capacity depends on your subscription plan as well. As you can see in the details, some things that can take up storage include your uploaded media, as well as the projects that you create. It's always possible to free up some space by deleting outdated projects, deleting spare files from your media library, as well as upgrading your subscription plan. Invoices In the Invoice tab, you can filter the invoices in your account with the drop-down menu. You will be able to see both your paid and unpaid invoices in this menu. You also have the option to download your invoice. This is helpful if you are getting paid back by an employer for your subscription and need to show proof of payment to receive reimbursement. To check your paid invoices, edit the receipt information, or edit your address VAT number, navigate to the Details section. Unpaid invoices will show all the purchases you have started and didn't complete. You may always access those invoices and continue the payment, or simply remove the unnecessary ones. You won't be charged for the unpaid invoices unless you process the payment. Preferences Make sure to set your preferences after you sign up for a RenderForest account. 
here, you'll find notification and privacy settings. Unlisted videos are exported projects, which can be shareable through a link with anyone. In case you set the visibility to private, your projects will only be available to you. You may have noticed some beautiful real-life project examples below our video templates. These are projects, which are shared with the consent of their creators. To feature your video on our website, simply click on this toggle. My Colors and Fonts The last section includes color palettes and fonts. Paid users have the ability to add color palettes and fonts here. You may use these palettes and fonts later in your projects for easier, faster, and more cohesive projects. If you change your mind later, it's always possible to delete, replace, or add. Even if you don't add your own colors or fonts, you can still use the colors and fonts created or chosen by our professional designers. Subscription In the subscription section, you can see everything that you need to know about your plan. Your subscription plan determines your capabilities and limitations on Render Forest. The Details button will show your billing information and cycle, as well as the exact number of features available to you. Make sure to review this section carefully, in case you're not fully sure of your plan details. The Payment Update button on your subscription section or price page will allow you to change your billing information and replace it with new payment information or methods. If you ever change your subscription plan, this section will update with your new details and status. We love to see our users grow. When you're ready to move up a plan, simply click the Upgrade button. This will upgrade your current plan to a higher one with more features instead of cancelling your current plan and starting a new one. We hope this video helped to explain the account settings and menu options. Check out the other videos in the series to learn more about using our individual tools and how to connect them together in order to build and boost your brand. We can't wait to see what you create. If you upload your project online, tag or mention us so we can see it. Let us know what questions you have. We're always happy to help.